Andy is a furniture refinisher who runs the YouTube channel Modern Makeovers. This dresser was made in the 1920s. Over years of use, the veneer is starting to peel off. There are marker drawings on it, and the stain is starting to age. Andy shows us how he restores this dresser by removing the old veneer and replacing it with new veneer strips, removing the old stain and applying a new coat, repairing the handles, and applying a top coat to seal in all his work. The veneer on this dresser is severely damaged and unsalvageable. Andy is using a heat gun and a putty knife to strip it off. The heat softens the glue between the veneer and the dresser so that the wood underneath won't get damaged as he strips it. He sands the whole piece down to bare wood. This makes it easier for the stain to absorb when he applies it later on in the process. Now he's applying a paint stripper to the sides of the dresser to remove the old stain. It sits for 15 minutes, then he scrubs the area with steel wool. Andy is replacing the old veneer with veneer edge bandings. He arranges the strips, carefully considering the width, grain pattern, and color of each. Once he's happy with how they look, he numbers them to make sure he can put them back in the same order. Andy is covering the surrounding areas with painter's tape in order to protect them. He applies a generous amount of contact cement to the strips with a roller, as well as the section of the dresser he'll be applying the strips to in order to get a strong adhesion. Andy waits 15 minutes and then does a touch test. If the contact cement isn't tacky to the touch, the strips are ready to go on. He is applying one strip at a time to make sure the application is perfect. Then using a wooden stick with a rounded edge, he presses down hard across the entire surface to make sure it is fully adhered. He repeats this process one strip at a time until the entire top of the dresser is covered. Andy is breaking off the excess length of the strips and sanding the edges smooth. To give the front edge of the veneer a cleaner finish, he adds a thin strip of wood to blanket the edges of the veneer strips. Andy is doing this by cutting a piece of scrap wood with a table saw and applying it to the dresser with wood glue. He is restaining the body of the piece with an oil stain. Andy slathers the stain on with a brush and then wipes it away with a towel. He is removing the handles from the drawers so he can work on them separately. Andy sands the existing finish on the drawers in order to apply a new finish. He is applying paint stripper to the handles using a brush. After 15 minutes, he can scrub away the stain and finish on the handles using a scratch brush. Andy is staining the handles using a water-based stain in black. He applies the stain using a pair of socks. Cotton is lint-free and highly absorbent, making it a perfect tool for staining. He uses a water-based top coat to seal the drawers and the body of the dresser.
After years of use, this peeling dresser is now a fully repaired piece that is ready to be used again.